and professional military men claim that some of the some some alleged four national security operatives who were in Garu on an official assignment. Bare faced falsehood peddled by the Ministry of National Security. Ladies and gentlemen, permit us to set the record straight on some falsehood and half truth peddled by the Ministry of National Security in their 29th October press release. One, the Ministry of National Security claimed that the Arab used attack the vehicle when the officers were seated in the Land Cruiser vehicle with registration number GS 7520-22, which was removed and kept aside the vehicle. This is not accurate. The record should reflect that the officers were not in the vehicle, but rather inside the police station. At the time, the unknown assailants fired gunshots into the vehicle. The claim by the, NASA, the Minister of National Security that the officers shot refuge at the police, the Garu police station, is woefully, is, is wholly inaccurate and yet another attempt to create disaffection for the people of Garu and Tipani. It, it was rather the vigilant youth who requested that the claim officers go with them from the, their hideout to the police station to authenticate their identity. If the Minister of National Security claimed that their barbaric act and unprofessional conduct was to retrieve the weapons, used in attacking the vehicle. At least the DCEs were present at the time of the torture. We asked, where are the seized weapons? Yes, there are no single reported incident of the retrieval of weapons from any of the homes invaded. We asked, did the Minister of National Security and the military invade and visit such heinous crimes on the people of Wadewale when a VIP bus that loaded passengers from Kumasi was burned into ashes no. at the Wadewale police station? No. 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 no! Why the people of Garu and Tripani? Oh, start. Okay. On Tuesday, background to the issue. What?